Hey guys, Tim here with Red Wing RC, and I've decided to go ahead and put together a prop balancing video. Um, the reason being is that I think there's a little bit of mystery for a lot of people on balancing the hub particularly, and um, the, the reason that balancing is important is that it reduces vibration um, on the engine, on the airframe, on screws and bolts from coming out, uh, so it's probably a really good idea to go ahead and, and balance your props as good as possible. Um, a lot of people are comfortable balancing them and getting them to sit fairly horizontally, but balancing the hub to where it sits in it, every angle is a little bit more challenging to visualize. Uh, but I have some tips that hopefully will make it go by faster um, and, and give you a better understanding of it in general. The first tip that I'm going to give you is to go ahead and practice this using tape. The reason being is that it, it's very quick and helps you visualize exactly what's going on. So once I give you the breakdown and understanding of, of where to put the weight, uh, using tape will help you visualize it faster and then once you have a, a good understanding of where and why you put the weight, then you can use glues or um, you know paint, etc., whatever you want to use as your weight. Uh, but the problem with using CA glue or something like that, one for the video is it's slow, but also if you're trying to, to figure out, uh, it's, it's very misleading sometimes. You'll add it and then as it's drying, it, it kind of changes. The tape gives you very definite reaction. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is get this prop balanced from side to side. I'm using a um, top flight balancer. It's, it's set up on magnets here, so it's got very little friction. Uh, and the first step, like I said, is going to be to balance this left to right or horizontally, 3, three o'clock, 9 o'clock position. And this is pretty straightforward. Obviously, this side is falling, so that's heavy. I'm going to take a little piece of tape, or on your final product, you, you'd use glue or uh, nail polish, clear nail polish, something like that if you wanted. Look at that. That was about the perfect amount. That looks like it's sitting pretty still and not wanting to move. Okay, easy enough. Obviously, if you added too much on this side and you were using glue with tape, I could always peel it off, uh, but with glue, you could sand it down. On a side note, I have used tape before. I used clear scotch tape once when I was at the field, had to buy a new prop, didn't have anything else around. I put it on, burnished it on, and it never came off. So really, I don't know that scotch tape isn't, uh, it could be a, a pretty decent idea to use, actually. All right, so I'm going to double check that and make sure it's sitting still. Looks like it's good. I'm going to double check it on the other side. <coughs> Looks good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to balancing the hub. All right, guys. So now the next step is you want to be able to set the prop in any position and have it sit still. You can see in this circumstance it's falling here. And if I do it this way, it should fall on this side. The reason being is that means the bottom of the hub is heavy and the top is light. So again, if, if the high side falls, then the bottom is heavy. And if I turn it around, now the low side is going to fall. So if I put the low side, well, if I put either side down, low side is going to fall here. and the low side falls here. The reason being is that the amount of weight is already shifted to this side and wants to continue rolling over. Um, so we know that now if the low side falls, the top is heavy. So we're going to add weight to the bottom. I'm going to flip it back around. The bottom is now the top and begin adding weight. Now at the hub, you're going to have to add more weight because it's closer to the center. It is the center and there's less levers. Okay, so we've added a little bit of weight to the top here. And uh, once again, if you tilt the prop and the high side falls, then the bottom is heavy. And again, turn it this way. The high side falls, bottom is heavy. Now you'll notice when I turned it up on this side, this side fell a little slower. So what does that mean? It means that it's the bottom of the prop that's heavy 
but it's a little heavier on this side because when I tilted it up like this, it fell quicker. When I tilted it up like this, the heavy side was already down. So if anything, we're gonna be adding weight to the top and the opposite side of the side that was heavy. So we're gonna be adding to the top and maybe slightly to this side. Again, practicing with tape helps you kind of visualize this and see if your move was the correct move or not. So I'm gonna add another piece of tape, a little bit more to the left side as you guys are seeing it. Okay, it's falling a little bit more slowly on this side and I bet this side will fall even more slowly. So it's, it's starting to round out. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more just dead to the center because both of those seem to fall pretty evenly. Okay, still falling. Holding pretty steady there. So again, that means that uh, we're, we're pretty centered on this side weight-wise. This one's still a little bit heavy, so we're going to go ahead and put the weight again on the, on the opposite side that was heavy, but on the top side, of course. Holding still. Holding still. Mystery solved. So, now we can double check this. Take it off, flip it around. Make sure it's also holding still on this side. And if some small adjustment needs to, be, needs to be made, it's no big deal. So the low side is falling. That means the top is still a little bit heavy, but it fell very slow. And holding pretty steady. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit since, since it fell when I had it tilted like this, that means this side is heavy now. Since, if you can kind of visualize this, the weight is shifted over to this side, it's wanting to continue to fall. Whereas when it's over here, the weight is closer to the bottom half of the axis and it's sitting pretty steady. So, we're gonna go weight on this side, but on the top. So it's the same side that's, that we've had to add weight to all along. So we'll try this one more time. Bottom's still a little heavy now. And if, if your table isn't pretty still and there's wind, that can also affect it. So sitting still. It's sitting pretty still. Yeah, it could add a little bit more. There we go. Now the other thing to remember is, like I said, wind is gonna affect this a little bit. Um, and this is getting the prop very well balanced. I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't get it as good as you can, but when you get on the plane, you're, uh, you get some slight nicks, and it's amazing how a little amount of weight uh, throws the balance off. So um, you simply are trying to get your prop to as good of a starting point as you can. And as you can see, I've, I've added a, a, a decent amount of weight to the hub, just a little bit to the outside. Um, but this will give you a, a good starting point and um, it probably wouldn't be a, a bad idea to check your prop from time to time, especially if you've been running it through the grass a lot and been nicking it up. If you have any questions or have any ideas of how I can improve this video, just give me a holler.